Hey, so friends, welcome to So Easy with Shelby and Gabby. I'm your host, Kay Stewart, and I want to thank you again for coming to my page. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that I'm going to be doing. Today, I decided to come to you with the OD but goodie, as I call it. I first started sewing, I made this peplum dress, and I loved it. I got online, and I was looking at an online video, a YouTube video, actually, and I learned how to make this peplum dress right here. It's made out of purple, and I loved it. I mean, it was the greatest. But now, the years have gone by, and I have gotten a little too big for it, so I decided to recreate the same dress. This time, I'm going to do the dress in red. So, last week, what I did was, I went ahead and I've already done the dress itself. And what I did was, I used this as my actual pattern. And what you can do is, you can take this actual dress, just the way I did, and I laid it on my material, and I basically cut this dress out of the red material. And you can see I added a little bit more more fabric to it because again I've gotten a little larger. So I'm going to do that. The next thing I needed to do was add the peplum. I haven't done that because I actually ran out of material and I said when I decided to do the ODB goodie I said oh I gotta go back and get some more material. So that's what I did today. So now that you have the dress, once you have this laid out on your material like this, you want to basically you're going to trace this dress right out of the new material. And what you're going to do is once you've done that, you're going to sew your shoulders together at the top. And then you're going to go down your sides here. You're going to do that. You're going to go down the other side and make sure you sew it. I've already hemmed the bottom of this one, of course, because this is the old dress. But I've also hemmed my other dress. So you want to make sure you put a hem in your dress. And right here, you're going to see where I have my waistline. And I'm going to show you what I do with that. So. Next thing you want to do, so right now I have the new dress that I've done, made out of the red. And as you can see, I have a pin right here. I have a pin right here where I want to put the peplum. So let me show you how you make the peplum. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get you some fabric like this. And you want to make sure that your selvage edges are together. So you fold it like this way. You're going to fold it once. And have all your selvage edges together just like that then you're going to take it and you're going to fold it one more time so now when you fold it one more time you're going to have your fabric and pass like this and you're basically going to have like four pieces so this is what you want this is very important because this is what i used to mess up on when i first started doing my peplum and then i realized i had to sew my peplum together because i wasn't cutting it on the right edge this is your fabric where it's folded. You want to make sure that that is facing you. This is your selvage edge right here, which is down here on the left. This is also your other folded edge up here on top. And again, I'm gonna move that. let me move the camera so you can see a little better. So. Again, you have your two folded edges. You have one here to the right, and you have one facing at the top. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that we get the waistband right. I tell you all the time, when you're doing it, it's basically like doing a circle skirt, which is going to be your peplum. So the first thing you want to do is, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see how I'm, sewing, I'm cutting it. You want to take and you're going to cut off a little bit of the round part here at the top. Again, I've already done mine because once I did it, I said, oh, I should do a video of this. So what you're going to do is you want to just cut off a little teeny piece of it. Then you're going to open it up. When you open it up, you're going to put it to your waist and say, hmm, could this fit me? No or yes. So if it cannot fit you, what you're going to do is you're going to just keep going down about half an inch until you get it to the right size that you want it. So let me... Make sure I have my straight. So again, this is your folded edge and this is your folded edge. The next thing you're going to do is, I want my peplum to be about 7 inches. I know I'm going to probably hem it. and I am going to use the roll edge on my skirt. But if you do not have a rolled edge foot, what you can do is you're just going to fold yours over just like this. 
once about a half an inch here and then you're going to fold it over again a half an inch and you're going to sew that all the way around the peplum so it makes it a nice hem edge so that's what you're going to do but again i'm not going to do that now i know i want my peplum to be about eight inches so you're going to take your tape measure you'll make sure this is nice and flat and laid out first thing you want to do is you want to take your tape measure and i'm measuring down from here the top of the peplum where my waist is going to be at to eight inches and from there i'm going to take and i'm going to make a mark i'm using my tailor's chart so i'm going to make a mark right there then you're going to hold it down and you're just going to go all the way around and you're going to make another mark right there at eight inches let me get something better So again, you're going to take it and you're going to mark it 8 inches, just like that. Then you're going to hold it down and you're going to go around to another 8 inches. And when you get to that 8 inches, you're going to make a little mark there. And then you're going to keep doing that all the way around 8 inches. And you're going to make these little marks. Then after that, we're going to connect the dots. 8 inches. Then you're going to do it again over here. From here, 8 inches. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I definitely have marks right here all the way around. And this is 8 inches. So the next thing I want to do is we'll grab some weights so that it can stay in place. And I just use washers from Home Depot. These washers are nice. They keep your fabric down nice and flat. So you don't have to worry about it moving. And you can also, if you like, take a pen and stick it in there just to make sure your fabric is not moving. Just like that. So I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut my, around my marks. Like I said, and you can make your peplum as long or as short as you want it. But I measured it in 8 inches. It's perfect. Okay. So, as you can see, got my marks. And when you open it up, if I can get it, when you open it up, you'll see the peplum. So once I put it on the dress. It's going to be like that. And that's all the length I want for the peplum. The next thing I'm going to do is, like I told you, is I'm going to actually go to my machine. And we're going to take any what you want to do is you want to put a hem in this. And this is the wrong side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hem our peplum. We're going to hem the bottom of it so that we have a nice, clean edge. Now, I am going to be using this foot here. I'm going to be using this foot right here. And this is a rolled hem presser foot. If you do not have a rolled hem presser foot, it's okay. What you can do is you're just going to take your fabric like this. And you're going to fold it once. And then you're going to fold it again. And you're going to press that all the way around. You want to take your time and make sure that you go um, careful when you're going around the curves. But again, you want to make a nice clean edge. But again, I'm going to use this roll edge foot. So I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hem the bottom and I'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, as you can see, I already put the hem on the bottom of my peplum. So once you've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our peplum to our dress. So the way I do that is, if you remember earlier, I put this pin right here. That marks my waistband. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors, which are over here. Grab my scissors, and I'm going to cut right where that pin is, straight across the dress.
just like that. So now you have three pieces. You have your skirt, you have your peplum, and you have your top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our top and our skirt, and I'm going to turn it towards me so I can see. So this is right side up. This is the right side facing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our top and we're going to pull our skirt through it, just like this. And you're going to have both right sides facing up because what you're going to do is once we sew the dress, once we attach the peplum, we're going to turn it like this and you're going to have both right sides to your dress. So you want to turn it inside out like this and you're going to, so you got this one right sides facing and this one in the top inside out. So we're going to put that like that. So you have both of the right sides facing. Like that. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your peplum, but you're going to make sure that your peplum is the right side facing. So this is the right side facing, and we're going to take that and we're going to just throw that over top of the skirt, just like that. So now you have all of your edges together. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skirt and the peplum, and I'm going to stretch it out like this. going to take it so that when you stretch it you have both sides are touching. You're going to grab some pins and you're going to pin it right there. You want to pin those two together at the both sides. So I'm going to grab this side and I'm going to pin it. Then we're going to take and I'm also going to pin one in the front and one in the back just to make sure it doesn't move. And what you want to remember is you have your skirt facing the right side up. This is the right side of your fabric. Also, your peplum is on the right side. You're going to take your top and you're going to make that facing inside out. So this is the inside of your shirt and this is the right side of your dress, of your skirt and your peplum. Because once we've sewn these three together, when we flip the top up, you're going to have your dress and your peplum's going to hang out. And you'll see what I mean. So what we're going to do is pushing that through there like that. And you're going to take your ends, your sides, like this, that you've already pinned. And you're going to, side, going to pin it. And as you can see, I've finished off my edge. You're going to take it and you're going to pin all three sides together. So now you have three pieces. And you're going to do it like that. You're going to go to the next side and do the same thing. I'm going to take this pin out. I'm going to flip this up like this. And you have all three sides together. You're going to take a pin and go through all three sides with your pin. Just like that. So when you go over to the machine, what you're going to do is you're going to sew straight across here. And if you have a surgery, you want, after you've sewn it across, you want to go ahead and finish off your edge. And that'll be the end of your dress. If you don't have a surgery, what you can do is once you've sewn across the top, you can do a zigzag stitch on the top. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I'm over here at the sewing machine. And as you can see, I have my dress and it's stretched out. And I have all three pieces pinned together. You want to make sure that when you're sewing and you're going through that because this is a stretch fabric, you want to stretch. But you also want to make sure that you're getting all three pieces of the dress. So I'm just going to put that under the seam like that. And you're going to use a 5 8 inch seam allowance. And again, you just want to make sure that you're going through all three pieces of material. You don't want to have your peplum hanging because it wasn't 
attached and again because this does have stretch I'm pulling it I'm putting in a little stretch with it I'm just giving it a little tug so that the material is nice and flat. And then I have all three pieces of material. Now that this is done, I'm going to take it over to the serger and I'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, I've sewn all three of my pieces together and I went ahead and took my serger and went straight across the top. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pull this out like this and voila, you have a dress with a peplum. Nice and even all the way around. And what you want to do is you're going to take this to your iron and you're going to give it a good press and you're all done. I hope you've had a good time with So Easy with Shelby and Gabby. I'm your host again, Kay Stewart, and I can't wait to see you next week.